sheep, they gonna hear the voice. His voice is in the Bible. I be seeing little, I be always like on the internet, seeing little clips of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And they saying like, what is going on now? Like, like when the rivers dried out, I already see how the world is. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men to stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's going to rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this truth. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready, we coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel, united in Christ, is a non violent Bible-based movement. IUIC. I hate you. I, I'm gonna I'm give you a good song to sing. Give me Psalms 149 verse 1. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that good song. Hey, that's that song we all want to sing. The book of Psalms, chapter 149 verse 1. Bring it out. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. We're gonna sing to the Lord a new song. Read. And his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in, in him that made him. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Because I'm going to tell you, we've been rejoicing in a false Christ. We've been, we've been rejoicing in a false God and all these false doctrines. Read. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the treble and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. He's going to beautify us with salvation. That's the thing that we're looking for, salvation. You understand? Read. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. Let the what? Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. And a two-edged sword in their hand. Let the what be in their hand? A two-edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance. To do what? To execute vengeance uh -huh. unto the heathen. To who? Unto the heathen. That's that new song. That's that new song we should all want. To bring vengeance on our enemies. How y'all young men doing? Good. Check this out. Y'all see yourselves on the sign? Hey, you see this family right here? They came into the greatest news on earth. That we are the Israelites. Have you ever heard that before? Never heard that? It's, it's not taught in school. It's not taught in your churches. You see right here? This is what the white man labels us. But this is what God calls us. That whole Bible, what, where have you learned about the Bible? You believe in it? Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. You believe it? What about you, young man? You believe it? Watch this. So what have you done to show your belief? Yeah, faith. In what? God. But how do you do that? Believe it. Just believe it. Yeah, how do you believe? <laughs> Wait, that's a game, so you gotta think about something. If I told you, look, here's a job for you to do. You're gonna ask, how do I do that job? And what if I said, believe in it. Show faith in it. And you're gonna know how to do the job. Why? I didn't give you no instructions. If I said, hey, bro, here go that motor. You gotta train yourself to do what? You're gonna have to have some skills to know how to do it. Yeah. Well, if I, if I don't tell you how to do the job, you're gonna be just sitting there looking. Right. Well, you know what, watch this. 
when they go to church on Sunday and they sit down and they hear some songs, they hear the preacher talk, give a sermon, did he actually teach them about the Bible? You didn't know you was an Israelite. That means your mama didn't teach you. That means she didn't learn a damn thing either. And now grandmama, and now grandmama for that. You know what I'm saying? We haven't learned the Bible. That means we haven't learned how to serve God. Right. We don't know how to show faith. We don't know how to believe. Because guess what? Is it a one-way thing that you do? Or is it a two-way? They have a relationship with God. Is it one way or two ways? Two ways. So if it's two ways, which one is superior? You or him? You you think you're superior than God? No, I believe him. Wait, so he's superior to you. He's over you. So for you to have a relationship with God, you got to follow who? You got to follow God, right? So tell me, have you followed God? Yeah, but I ain't going to say. Name me one thing. I ain't going to say I did, but, but I believe him, but I didn't follow him. So, so if you didn't follow him, how do you know that you worship God? Could you worship a false God? Nah. Give me that uh, Second Corinthians this, this, 11, 4. I'm going to show you something. Remember, they don't follow God in the churches. And they didn't teach you. And what make you any different than them? Doesn't die. Watch this. Second Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. Yeah. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. He said, if we receive another Jesus, another gospel, we might fall for it. So first you have to know Jesus, right? Let me ask you this. Who is that? That's a false Jesus? Okay, so what does Jesus look like? Right. So. But hey, you correct. So there is another Jesus that we don't follow, that we follow, right? Because this is in all your churches, right? Well, if that's in all your churches, ain't there a false gospel behind that false Jesus? So the false gospel is in your churches, right? You've been knows it's in your spirit to know it. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're here right now. Guess what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a prophecy. Um, I'm gonna give you a prophecy that Christ said. Give me uh, John 10 and uh, 27. I'm going to show you what Christ said. And you got to think about this. Let it marinate in your spirit. Because you can, today, use your lucky day. You understand? Today is your lucky day. Watch this. John chapter 10, verse 27. Yo. My sheep hear my voice. You hear what he said? He said, my sheep hear my voice. Everybody doesn't listen to the word of God. But his sheep, they're going to hear the voice. His voice is in the Bible. Most of our people be like, I ain't got time for that, man. I'm good. I'm good. That's the white man's book. But Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. And what? And I know them. He said, and I know them. My spirit dwells in them. Read. And they follow me. They do what? And they follow me. They're going to follow him. You understand? They're not going to follow that false Christ. They're not going to follow that false gospel coming from that church. You understand? So you got to show your belief by actually doing. You understand? Watch it. Give me Surah 32 and 24. So I'm going to show you what it means to believe. Because 
understand something. Jesus is the son of God. God sent his son down to show us how to walk. How we should believe. How we should treat one another. How we should love one another. You understand? And our people say they believe in Christ. But there's only one way that you can show you believe in Christ. Watch this. Sirach, chapter 32, verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord, take if heed to the commandment. He that believeth in the Lord, take what? Take if heed to the commandment. They take heed to God's commandments. You understand? God gave us laws and commandments to follow. When you believe, you take heed to those commandments. You do them. You follow them. You don't ignore them like Christians do. And know what Christians say? The laws are done away with. Then run up the block. That's what they say. And then you wonder why crime in your community. Right. You wonder why killing in your community. You wonder why single mothers in the community. Because the pastors have told the people the law is done away with. Right. That means you can do whatever the hell you want to do. You want to be a hoe, dress like a hoe, go do it. You want to be a gangbanger, go be a gangbanger. Just bring me your 10%. How y'all sisters doing? Hey ladies, how y'all doing? Keep going. Y'all ain't got time for the word of God. See, that's what I mean when you watch that. Remember I just read? My sheep, hear my voice. Everybody not the sheep. Some of our people talk a good game. Right. You understand? Give me John 14 and 15. Some of our people talk a good game. Because they say it all the time. I love Jesus. I got a personal relationship with God. Ain't that generally the black woman? Ain't it? They the ones sitting there talking about, boys, y'all boys need Jesus in your life. How many people have told you that? A lot of them have told you. And yet, they don't do nothing God say. Right. Think about that for a second. Read. John chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Jesus said, if you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. He said, if you love me, keep his commandments. You understand? The reason why we in captivity, the reason why we in these ghettos, the reason why we catching hell all over the earth, because we didn't keep the commandments. That's the reason why they can rule over us. That's the reason why these nations can put us in bondage. That's we, the reason why these nations can lock up our children. You understand? Because we don't keep the commandments of God. Our mothers don't keep the commandments of God. You still with your mom? You still with your mom? Y'all brothers or cousins? Just like a brother. But guess what? We all got the same problems. Watch this. Give me Isaiah 5 and 12. Remember, those commandments is what gives us our wisdom. Because those commandments came from God. You know, any father gives his children rules to follow? Those rules are supposed to raise you up right. It's going to make you intelligent, how you carry yourself. You know when somebody got a good mother and father by how they carry themselves, right? God gave us rules and commandments. Think How you think we're supposed to carry ourselves? We should be like gods on this earth. But we're running, but we running around like niggas. Yeah. So we running around like niggas, right? Shooting and killing each other, selling each other dope. We don't go to the white neighborhoods and do that. Right. We do that amongst each other. Somehow, we must have lost the knowledge of God. Somehow, we must have stopped doing what God said. Somehow, we must have started following that white man down there. So even if you sit there and say, uh. I know he black, but guess what? Everything that you do came from the white man. You celebrate Christmas? I already know all that. That ain't real. That's just what the white man knew. So, so you don't follow none of them holidays, right? I don't really. I don't, I don't really. <laughs> Name me a holy day that you keep that God gave you. You don't know none, do you? So the white man still won. He still got you not following God. Even if you say you ain't following that nonsense, you're still not following God because you didn't open up the book and learn. You wasn't taught. But today, your lucky day. You understand? It's a good thing that y'all brothers stop and say, you know what? Let me check out and see what they teach, what they talking about. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. Read That's for my people. Children are their oppressors. He said, for my people? He said, children are their oppressors. 
Why did God say children are our oppressors now? But he's saying y'all oppressing us. Oh, y'all oppressing us? Uh, watch this. You see the Ku Klux Klan running around here? But you see the Bloods and the Crips. You see little young niggas with guns. You see little young niggas out there selling dope on the block. They oppressing us. Our children oppress us now. White man took a break. He said, you know what? Let them kill their own damn selves. Watch this. And women rule over them. Who's ruling over these kids? Women rule over them. Single mothers, just like you just saw, ruling over the kids now. Watch this. Oh my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err. What do these women cause our people to do? To err. They cause our people to error. You understand? They make the men, they make the young boys soft. They make the young boys soft. They make them feminine. They make the daughters masculine. All that, all that stuff is going on right now. Right, of course it is. I, I, I'm old enough to watch it. I always like I be seeing look, I be always like on the internet seeing little clips of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And it's saying like look, it's going on now, like with one of the rivers dried out, like right now, it's one of them dried out that I know. Right, right. Watch this. It causes us to error to go out of the path of God. Instead of our young boys growing up masculine, they're growing up feminine. Oh, uh, watch this. Do not most young boys wear skinny jeans? Those used to be worn by women. Y'all wear pants tighter than women wear now. And then you got your butt hanging halfway out of it. Who you think, who you think like to see booty? Gay boys. What type, what type of man got his butt out for gay boys to look at? That ain't no real man. That's some homosexual stuff. That's weak. That's weak. We so busy jumping on every little trend and every little fashion, we don't realize they playing us like suckers. I, I ain't even, I ain't even, like, I'm telling you, huh? that I, I already see how the world is. I'll praise you. Like, it's like it's gonna be a lot of people to take you off, like make you go to jail, like try to cause you to go to jail, like mm -hmm. mess with you and stuff like that. But it's like the way they got it set up now, they want us to hurt each other. They want us to. They do. They so, how do you protect them. yourself from it? Get away from it? I'm gonna show you why. Watch this. Give me Isaiah 34 uh, 16. Watch this. I'm gonna show you how. Remember, knowledge is what? Knowledge is power. Watch this. Who has greater knowledge than God? Nobody. And where can you read about God? And if that's what, then why don't we open it up and read it? You know how they trick you again? They say that's the white man's book. And you're like, what well, the white man? I ain't reading that. <laughs> that's what we do. But that's where your power at. That's where you become back a man. That's where you become back a ruler of the earth. And stop being a slave. Because are we still slaves? You don't think so? What's your last name? Young? It was, I guarantee you, it was a slave owner named Master Young. And you've been carrying that name from one generation to the next generation. Watch this. Baruch 3 and 8. Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. He said, Behold. You are yet this day still in your captivity. You're still a slave. Do you own this land? Do we make the laws? Is our face on the money? Then we don't run nothing. We're here serving them. Instead of going to the cotton fields picking cotton, we go to the plants and work their plants. Instead, that's why my plan is not to work. I'm planning I'm plan on working. Right now to become my own boss. Guess what? Even when you steal your own boss, because some of us got our own got our own businesses. We steal the slave. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Because we don't own our own land, 
because we don't make our own laws. Guess what? I'm going to show you what you're going to have to do to that land. Read. Word thou hast shattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments. What are we subject to? Payments. That land that you think you're going to buy, never going to own it. You're going to have to always pay taxes on it. That house that we buy, you never own it. You always got to pay taxes on it. Even that, if it's paid off. Even if that land paid off. Guess what? You don't pay your taxes, they take it. No, you know what messes up the world? Hosea 4 and 6. So you said some good things, but you got to realize what messes up the world is when the true rulers ain't ruling. Right. We're the true rulers. We gave up rulership to be slaves. That's what happened. You got to ask yourself, why in the hell would we choose to be slaves? That don't make no sense. Wait out. Well, he said, if you do this, what I tell you, you can rule. He said, but if you don't, I'm going to make you a slave. He said, you agree? He said, yeah, we agree. Well, here we are being slaves. We must didn't hold up our end of the bargain. Did it? Don't sound like it, huh? We'll prove it. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Real? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Now he said, my people now are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We don't know the Bible. We don't know that we're the Israelites. We don't know what color Christ is. We don't know that these churches are teaching false religions. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Hold on. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. What do our people do? Rejected knowledge. Hey, sis, you got time for the Bible? What did she do? She kept on sliding. She rejected knowledge. Read. I will also reject thee. He said, I'm going to reject you. Read. That thou shalt be no priest to me. All men are called to be the priest of God. Because we the rulers of this earth. Right. We're supposed to be teaching God's word. Right. Read. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. What do we forget? The law of thy God. We've forgotten God's laws. But yet we say we love God. But well, God said, well, if you love me, do what? Keep my what? Commandments. He said, keep those commandments. Read. I will also forget thy children. What will happen to the children? I will also forget thy children. And they grow up to be little gangbangers. The little girls grow up to be little hoes. You understand? They, they, they grow up without their fathers. They grow up without a family. They grow up with no hope. No. Because why? We rejected God's laws. So we must do what? Repent and come back to the Most High God. We got to come back to these laws. We got to learn this Bible. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time. Strong in the Lord, his word.